Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time to give away this box of Almond Cat. Thanks to everyone who entered over the last couple of weeks. Awesome of you, definitely appreciate it. And this one, our winner, is going out to Justin F. From Sweden. Uh, Justin, I know we've already sent you an email, so big congrats to you, and let's crack open this box of Almond Cat for Justin F. and see if we can get something sweet. Hopefully, uh, maybe a Masterpiece series, some sweet mythics, so... I'm excited, I'm excited. Hopefully get some good stuff for Justin F. And again, as I mentioned before, big thanks to everyone for entering the contest. Definitely appreciate it. And I'm sure we'll do another one in the not-too-distant future, because I like opening boxes. It's sweet to give stuff away. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Start cracking open some packs. Like usual, focus on the rares and mythics, not m and any foils, of course. Masterpiece series cards. Not especially interested in the commons and uncommons. So what do we get here? Um, oh. All right, that's uncommons. So we get Trial of Ambition, Watcher of the Dead, Merciless Javelineers, and Cut. Two ribbons. Eh, that card's been catching on in Standard and the Plains. Not bad. I will say the Masterpiece, uh, the <laughs> Aftermath, of course the Masterpiece series cards are good. Uh, the Aftermath cards have been better than I thought they would be. I will admit. I thought they were going to be really bad, but they've actually ended up being... Pr Some of them have been pretty good. Also, love that Evolving Wilds art. So what do we have today? By Force. Mm, playable Uncommon. Devoted Crop Mate. Also somewhat playable. Spring to Mind. New Perspectives. One of my favorite cards from the set. Ooh, and a Full Art Swamp and a Rare Token. Temet Vizier of Nakamon. Uh, new perspectives, recently spiking a bit, thanks to, eh, who knows, forces beyond our control. <laughs> Did show up at the Pro Tour, though. Alright, next pack. Oh, what do we get here? Get through these commons. Conserving Fervor, and Cop Crasher, Weaver of Currents, Heaven to Earth, and a Mountain. Not one of the better Aftermath cards, Heaven to Earth. Kind of, eh. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. It's like a earthquake, but you gotta spend green mana to get it in your graveyard before it does anything reasonable. Uh, Alright, uncommons, Trial of Strength. Ooh, Bone Picker. One of the better uncommons, Toppy of the Pro Tour. Grim Strider, Curator of Mysteries, and Island and Token. Alright, no foils yet, no Masterpiece Series cards yet, no Mythics yet. But, I mean, not off to a horrible start to this box for just enough. Cryptic Serpent, Trial of Strength, Oketra's Monument, Commit to Memory, one of my favorite cards from the set. Oh, no foil? No foil. But a full art forest, two full arts. Commit to Memory is so sweet. It didn't show up at the Pro Tour, but oh, that card is so good. Time Twister from the graveyard, flash it back. I still have high hopes that it will do something eventually. This pack is strangely not aligned very well. Alright. Consuming Fervor, Trial of Solidarity, Lay Claim, Liliana's Mastery, The Secret Sauce that makes zombies work, and Island and Random Poke It Out card. Alright, Liliana's Mastery got the nice Pro Tour spike. Bit of value there. Also, good for playing zombies. That deck is so fun. Uh, next pack. Uh oh, we cheated and saw. We cheated and saw the last card. Trial of Ambition, Crocodile of the Crossing, Vizier of Deferment, Approach of the Second Sons, another Seth favorite, and Foil Floodwaters. Nyeh. Not a great foil, but it's a foil. Next pack. We're not even a third of the way through, so we have tons of time to find. Something sweet for Justin F. Start to finish. Could be an Aristocrats card. Vizier of Remedies. A modern playable. Labor of the Heart. Ooh, Mythic number one. Bantu the Glorified. The God. Aristocrat God. Aristocat God. Not bad. Mythic number one achieved. Not one of the most valuable Mythics, but not a bad Mythic. I like Bantu. 
What do we have here? Ooh, another bone picker. Ronas Monument, Seraph of the Suns, Regal Caracal, and another Full Art Island. All right, Cat Lord. Not part of Aristocat somehow, though, as odd as that sounds, being the Cat Lord. Open into Wonder, Blood Rage Brawler, Honored Crop Captain, Hapatra, Vizier of Poisons, and a non-Full Art Swamp. Uh, Hapatra's good for Commander. We've got to see some pretty big price increases for random negative one, negative one counter cards based on Hapatra. Not really the support for a standard, though. Javelin Year, Renewed Faith, Grave Digger, never to return. Well, <laughs> oh geez, that token kind of messed up. At least it's only a token. We have gotten a lot of Aftermath cards. If our Aftermath cards were Masterpiece cards, Justin F. would be rich. <laughs> Uh, last pack of the first third of the box. Uh, Watchful Naga, Ruthless Sniper, Okedra's Monument, Hazaret's Favor. Eh, another bulk rare. Alright, heading into third number two of our box for Justin F. of Sweden. Thanks again, everyone, for entering. We'll do another one, I'm sure. And maybe, uh, that will be your time. True Heart Duelist, Hazard's Monument, Baleful Amet, Rags. Ooh, we have a foil in this one. To Riches. All right, let's see. Where's our foil? Oh, that's a, that's a forest. Gate to the Afterlife. Unfortunately, not an expedition. Or a masterpiece, rather. I guess it would be an invention. Or invocation. Something, something. What do we get in this pack? Stuff, stuff, stuff. Uh, Kenra Charioteer, Oketra's Attendant, Blood Rage Brawler, Glorious End, Mythic Number Two. Oh, oh. What is this? Foil? Ah, oh, Fan Bear. One of these times. I can't wait till we do a giveaway. Glorious End is sweet. Was our spoiler card. Fitting that we get to give it away to Justin F. Ooh. And a Gideon Emblem. Little extra value there in the emblem. One of the best emblems, for against the odds, at least. One of these days we're going to give away a Masterpiece Series card when we when we open one, and it's going to be sweet. Uh, Captainist Monument, Wayward Servant, Vizier of Tumbling Sands, Key Piece to the Cycling Deck, Honored Hydra, eh, kind of bulkish, sweet floor planes, though. About almost halfway through, so we're at two Mythics, Bantu and Glorious End, no real crazy rares yet. And no masterpiece. Uh, Ronas Monument. Reduce to rubble. Uh, Defiant Grave Maw. And Samet Voice of Descent. Mythic number three. Eh, I mean, Samet's fine. This is feeling a lot like the box that I opened on set release day. Where we just didn't, didn't hit high end mythics. But we still got time. We're only halfway through. Time to lose. Honored Crop Captain. Exemplar of Strength. Shelter Thicket. Cycling Land number one. And some token stuff. Ah, uh, Cycling Lands are never bad opens. As far as rares go, they're some of the, the better rares that we can open from the set. So that's not a bad one for just enough. Uh, what do we have here? Faith of the Devoted, another sweet cycling card. Wayward Servant, Key to Zombies, White Black Zombies. Spring to Mind, Glory Bound Initiate. Scene play in humans. I don't know why I turned it sideways. That's not an Aftermath card. Uh, land token. Glory Bound Initiate seems like it could be good if human aggro, like Red White Aggro, Red White Exert can ever be good. Magma Spray, good common. Not valuable, though. Uh, scavenger, open into Wonder, Decimator Beetle, Gideon's Intervention, another Full Art Swamp. Not an answer to Aetherworks Marvel. Got a lot of questions about Gideon's Intervention as an answer to Aetherworks Marvel. I just don't see it. I don't think it can actually work and be good. I could be wrong, but that's my, that's my take on it. I don't want to be doing it. Ooh, Lord of the Accursed, another key zombie card, good uncommon. Vizier of Deferment, Angler Drake, Mouth to Feed, and nothing. Well, we have opened a ton of Aftermath cards, but I guess that's kind of what Amon gets about, so I guess it's not a surprise. What do we have here? Six Sands, Sir the Sands, 
on crop champion failure to comply oh i see a foil Ooh, that's actually pretty sweet <laughs> and we get a normal land it's not a masterpiece but i'm very high on these foil for full art lands they look pretty it probably is the most expensive card we've opened so far honestly and they look so nice they remind me of the guru lands i bet they're gonna be expensive in the long run all right, on away out here. Almost two thirds of the way through. Flame Blade Adept, Protection of the Hecma, Vizier Tumbling Sands, Vizier of the Menandre, Mythic number four, and probably the best Mythic we've gotten so far. Honestly, it's not high end Mythic, but it is a sweet one. That card's really sweet. Hopefully, we'll play it at some point. Another Lord of the Accursed, good uncommon. Uh, Hazard's Monument, Scale Behemoth, Miserable Unlimited, and Channeler Initiate to go with a non-foil full art forest. Ah, uh, Channeler is a fine mana dork. It's not, yeah. It hasn't really overtaken Servant of the Conduit in the mana dork category, but it's it's decent. Um, last pack in the first third of our or second third of the box, True Heart Duelist. Uh, destined to lead Grave Digger. Fetid Pools. Ooh, I think we got a foil. Is this the time? The time where we get the masterpiece? Wow! We did it! We did it! It's a Wrath! It's a masterpiece, Wrath of God! For Justin F. Oh! That's the first, that's the first, uh, invocation I've opened. Oh, that's so sweet. They look so much nicer in person. I mean, I know it's not in person and I'm filming this, but... Oh, yes! We got a winner! We got a winner for Justin F. Oh, that's so exciting. It finally happened. I've been waiting for that. And a Fetid Pool is not a bad rare to have. So, I mean, that makes everything worth it. <laughs> One card, our fortunes have shifted. Well, Justin F. from Sweden's fortunes has shifted. Oh, that's so beautiful. It actually looks really good in paper. Way better than they look online. So, Justin F., you got that to look forward to. And we still got a third of the box to go. I mean, it's incredibly unlikely we'd open a second masterpiece, but we could still open some sweet rares or mythics. Trial of Ambition, Sacred Excavation, Shevet Monitor, Sweltering Suns. Eh, a reasonable card. Full Art Island. Wait, Full Art Island. We'll, we'll start a, a an invocation pile, even though it's pretty unlikely. There's more than one card in that pile when we finish off the box. Well, I feel good now. Even if the rest of the box is bad, it's a winner for Justin F. Because we got we got a masterpiece. That's the goal these days when it comes to cracking boxes. Enigma Drake, Wayfair, Javelin, Nears, Oketra's Attendant, Dusk, to Dawn. Pretty impressive in the white-green tokens deck. As we found out on stream, playing Sam Black's List. So we haven't hit many good cards, but we hit we hit the one group of cards that matters in the the masterpiece. Uh, Cherry Tears, On Crop Crasher, Weaver of Currents, Pull from Tomorrow. This card is absurd. I know Control's still not good, but I still have high hopes that Pull from Tomorrow is gonna be a big standard staple at some point. I don't know when will Control ever be able to fight the meta. I don't know, but that card is so powerful. Ruthless Sniper, Cycle, Cycle, Cycle. Destined to lead, cast out, and a Soul Scar Mage. Ooh, to go with a, a foil Scarab's Feast. Not a bad foil common, or uh, if you're going to get a foil common and a cast out, a good uncommon. So that's actually a pretty reasonable pack for just enough. Uh, let's see, Devoted Crop Mate, Labyrinth Guide, Deemworthy, Plague Belcher. Sadly, not popular in zombies. Apparently, I'm the only person in the world that likes Plague Belcher when it comes to playing zombies. Because no one else played it at the Pro Tour in their decks. I was, I'm was i the only supporter of Plague Belcher. Uh, Hapatra's Mark, True Heart Twins, Angler Drake. Prepare to fight. More Aftermath, more bad Aftermath. Ooh! That's a sweet one, though. That's a foil pull from tomorrow. Well, if you're going to hit, and a full art land, if you're going to hit a foil rare, pull from tomorrow is a solid one. Definitely happy with that. That's got to be one of the better-ish foil rares that we could pull. 
for Justin F. Getting near the end. I think this might be five packs left, counting this one. Synchronized Strike. Jeff at Monitor, Edifice of Authority, Neheb the Worthy. Time for some Minotaurs. What do we got left? One, two, three, four, five packs to go for Justin F. This is it. Wrapping up our Amoncat Worldwide Giveaway Box with the last five packs. Start to finish. Gale Strike. Trail of Zeal. Temet. Vizier of Nakamon. Uh, we got the token for it, so that's good. If you want to build Temet EDH, just enough, uh, you got everything you need, including the token. Four packs to go. Manglehorn. Crocodile the Crossing. Ooh, Harsh Mentor. We must have skipped a... Ooh, that means there's a foil in this pack. Reduce to Rubble. Uh, well, that pack's not bad. Got a foil and a Harsh Mentor, which hasn't really made waves yet, but still a solid card. Still has some value to it, even though it hasn't really caught on. Still has potential. It takes longer for guards to catch on in Modern than it does in Standard. Three packs left in our Worldwide Modern Masters... <laughs> worldwide Amonkhet... Box giveaway. Vizier of Remedies, Zenith Seeker, Shadowstorm Vizier, Irrigated Farmland. Not bad. Cycling Land number three. Good for cycling, good for eh, everything. Two bags to go. Two last chances for a sweet mythic. Two masterpieces would be absurd. There's no there's no way that can happen, I don't think. Onward to victory. On crop champion cast out. Archfiend of Ifner. And a land. Alright. Well, good uncommon, and a moderate rare. Let's do it. Last pack. This is it. Last pack for Justin F. of Sweden. One more chance for something sweet. Let's... Ooh, let's see. All right. Sensor. Good. Uncommon. Limits of Solidarity. Even Wind Guide. All right. We got to flip it around. Do it the traditional way. So there's the, the Wind Guide. This is... Uh, some jank. We do have a foil, so this should be a land. It's an island. So we have a rare and a foil. This one's the rare. What's our rare? Sandworm Convergence. All right. This is our foil. What's our foil? Desert Saradon. Oh, I was hoping. I was hoping we'd flip around one more masterpiece for Justin F. of Sweden. All right. Well, you know how much the box is worth because I have the running prices going, but I'm going to calculate that up. And we'll be back in a minute to wrap up our Worldwide Amoncat Booster Box giveaway. And I'll see you in a second. All right, time to wrap up this Amoncat box. Going out to Justin F. of Sweden. And as you know, and I now know, overall we ended up with 114.78 in value, which is actually pretty good out of a, whatever, $90 box. That's coming out ahead by like 25 bucks. So that's definitely pretty sweet. I'm happy with that. You can't really expect much more than that. So as far as the actual cards, mythic-wise, we got four. Eh, on the low end of average, usually four or five. Four is fine. As far as the mythics themselves, eh, middling. Glorious End in Samet Voice of Descent, kind of on the lower end. Bantu, kind of middle lower. And Vizier is actually sort of middle upper end of the mythics at almost $8. So not a great run of mythics by any means, but not horrible either. We also got the foil pull from tomorrow, which was a pretty big deal. That's like $8. We got the foil forest, full art forest as well which is like six, so like 14, 15 bucks of foil value, three of the cycling lands, which are just decent rares, I think altogether like 10, 12 bucks, then as far as the rares, other than the bulk stuff, it was just a bunch of like three, four dollar stuff, 350, uh, Plague Belcher, Harsh Mentor, Never to Return, Commit to Memory, Liliana's Mastery, the non-foil pull from tomorrow, so overall, the box was, at this point, maybe like 75 bucks-ish. But, as Amoncat boxes and modern boxes are known to do, we managed to hit the lotto, we got the Wrath of God invocation, and that put the box from 
average below average to above average. And, and that's how these boxes work. You hit the masterpiece card and your box is almost always going to be a winner. Although we didn't end up a huge winner. It's not like, oh, polluted Delta and Battle for Zendikar. You get that and you're like $300 from your $100 box. But we still came out ahead thanks to the masterpiece. And the masterpiece looked really sweet. So that made it all worthwhile anyway. So anyway, I'm pretty happy with the box. We have going out to Justin F. in Sweden. It worked out well. I'm glad we got the Masterpiece Series card that kind of made the whole box worthwhile in and of itself. And some other sweet stuff as well, like some good uncommons, Lord of the Accursed cast outs. Not super valuable, but definitely playable. So a reasonable box for playing with. Anyway, that's going to wrap up our Amonkhet Worldwide Booster Box giveaway. Again, congratulations to Justin F. of Sweden. We'll be getting this shipped out to you before very long. And thank you to everyone else who entered. We'll be doing another one soon, so keep a lookout for that, giving away something else sweet here on the channel. So, again, congrats to Justin. Thanks to everyone. Thanks to everyone for watching as well. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.